啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦 Hello and welcome to Pignet. So today I'm going to show you how to draw a clownfish. I basically was realizing as I was starting to draw these that there's specific things that they've got about them that will set them apart from other fish that makes it a lot easier to understand how to draw them. That being said, let's just start with the very basic, like the most basic fish shape you can think of, okay? Which is probably sort of like this. So with clownfish, their tail is actually a lot rounder and then right in this center section it's thicker. So we'll just lay that in like that for now. They have their obvious flippers. What the heck are these called? I have no idea. So we'll just lay those in. There would be one over here maybe, see? And this is where their little face would be. Let's just put a little eye in and a little smile right at the base of their head. If you want to think about where their other fins would be, they've got one that goes up a little and then back. And then back here, it's sort of the opposite. So it goes back, but it's more rounded. And then the one that goes underneath is very similar to this. It's kind of like a mirrored image. So it goes down and then in towards its stomach. This actually might be a little closer to the front. Underneath their chin, they've got these two little fins. I'm not really sure what they're for, but one is in front of the other. So if you're looking at the clownfish from the front, say this is the clownfish's face, and this is its eyes, and it's looking straight at you, they would be like underneath like this. So that's basically the most basic shape. Basically, basically, how many times can I say basic? Let's give his face like a little bit of shape to it. Okay, his other eye is kind of hidden behind here so you can't really see it. So very commonly the first stripe starts behind their face and comes down around and then stops basically where this first fin will show and before these two. Wow, that sounded really messed up. In front of their first back fin, say, and in front of their arm fins, I have no idea what the proper name is for any of these. If any of you know the proper names, please let me know because I don't know. Their second one goes in between these two. And then they've got a third one, very commonly, in between their body and their tail. They also have black accents, I guess I would say, on each of their fins. So they've got one on their back tail fin, so I'm just gonna like lay this in. That would all be black. Under here, they would have some. Back here, they would have some. Up here, you know, this actually, this line could stay, and that would be black. On their fin on their fin, down under here, the bottoms of these would be black, and then just throw in a couple of lines. And that is the basic clownfish shape. So all I've got right now is a Sharpie. I'm hoping to get a pilot brush pen. It's coming in the mail today, but I was too anxious to just start doing this, so I'm just gonna start. So for this part right here, and actually it's going to do the same thing here and here, these two are the same color. We know that the fish's body is actually going to be sort of rounded towards it. So what I'm going to do is instead of just drawing a harsh line, I'm just going to do like a gesture line that kind of comes in part of the way. And then you can see the, the fish's body shape, but it's not that super harsh line. Okay, I've got the outline done. I'm gonna do his little eye. And now around their stripes, not all the time, but sometimes it's a pretty thick black line. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this in. I was inspired to do this because of Finding Dory coming out. 
Comment below, are you seeing it this weekend or are you waiting? I'm totally gonna see it. I'm gonna see it at the drive-in and I'm pretty pumped. Okay, there's gonna be a little black under this guy, more black under here. And you can't forget that back fin that's sort of just hanging out back there. Give a couple lines. I'm sure this is gonna bleed when I go over it, but what can y'all do? Okay, so I've got a Copic marker. This is probably gonna bleed. This is in the color light prawn because I don't own an orange one yet. They kind of have a reddish hue, some of them, so this will do. I just want to quickly fill this coloring in just to show the final thing, like, so you can really get an idea of what the stripes are doing. I'll probably skip ahead and I'll meet you guys at the end. That is the completed clownfish. If you guys found this video useful, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in the future and I will add it to my list. Also, keep an eye out. I will probably be doing a Copic illustration that involves a clownfish for Finding Dory. Something more intensive than this, hopefully. <laughs> we shall see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Use this money to stock up on saltine crackers, peanut butter, and ramen noodles.